I generally recommend people do steps to knowledge at least twice uh, because in the first time through they'll probably only get about 10 or 20 percent of it. It's that deep. They'll only take in what they can take in and they really will not see much of what these steps are really communicating. So no hurry going through steps to knowledge because the quality of your practice becomes now more important than the fact that you are practicing. It is in this way that you begin to gain control of your mind, which heretofore was pretty much completely in control of you. Wherever your mind went, you went. However it reacted was your reaction. You were really a slave to your mind. And this is a mind that's been conditioned by your environment, not by knowledge. Now you are directing your mind, telling it where to go, what to practice, keeping it focused, returning always to the practice that has been given to you. Without this self-correcting, self-directing, you will just continue to act out and act upon your social conditioning and the influence of others. And the world is demonstrating this in all possible ways to you. So I call you to practice because Without this, you will not arrive at your destiny. And now you have a practice that is so extraordinarily important. A practice not created by man. A practice that is a gift from heaven itself. For your redemption. A practice you can never fully understand because you have never fully arrived at your destiny a practice beyond your ideas entirely, a practice that will take you beyond your ideas entirely. This is why we gather. This is why we honor steps to knowledge in this vigil. This is the gift we're called to receive, to share, and to utilize. May the presence be with you.